Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm just coming back from a short family vacation and getting ready to paint again. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm just gonna give it a quick torch here because I laid down a very light layer of Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium as my base coat. And I'm gonna do an open cup traveling pour today. And let's go over the rest of my paints. I'll just put my little cup right there. Uh, the rest of my paints are, I have golden cerulean blue deep, and I did mix that with a little bit of the Liquitex uh, basic silver just to sparkle it up a little bit. And my next color is a new paint that I got on clearance, actually. It's called Tri Art, and it is the yellow medium. Very highly pigmented paint. And my next paint is the Golden Fluid Acrylic Green Gold. My next paint is the Golden Fluid Acrylic Phalo Turquoise. My next paint is the Golden Fluid Acrylic Viridian Green. And again, Golden Fluid Acrylic Burnt Sienna. And my last paint is the um, Folk Art Treasure Gold. I'm using the Majestic Gold today. My pouring medium today is I did use the mix and I used it according to direction. I used seven parts of the mix to one part of paint. And I did thin each of my paints with about three drops of water. No silicone used today. So let's get started. I'm just going to um, put a little bit of paint base coat in the center here and then around my cup to help my cup move. This is one of my favorite types of pores to do. Just fun helping the cup along if you need to and directing it. No particular order of putting my paint in. And I can't show you consistency here. I'll do, use the cerulean blue here. Just leaves a little trace. I wanted it a little bit on the thinner side to help that paint move. And it looks like that cup is taking off by itself here. It's always fun to get away for a little vacation with family. I was lucky enough to go up to a small lake. It was actually cooler up there. Than the weather we've had here downstate. Adding layer after layer in here, kind of watching that cup. So far, so good.
And I am going to want to see if I can get this cup to come down a little bit. See if I have to help it along. I have plenty of paint, but if I have negative space, that's fine too. I'm going to flip this painting. And I'm going to just give it a little bit of help here. See if I can get the cup to move on its own a little bit here. Just helping that down. I am getting to the bottom of my paints here. And now I'll try and tip it this way. And finish up my paints here. The reason I like this type of uh, pour is you just never know what you're going to get. You're kind of at the mercy of the paint here. I know a lot of the uh, acrylic pouring is like that. This is the last of that green gold. Very pretty color. And the last of this phalo turquoise, I believe. Beautiful color. It's one of my favorite colors that Golden makes. very rich. Okay. Let's see if I can just help this here. I'd like to get it down to the corner a little bit.
Okay. And I think I will torch. I do have some air bubbles here. I do have some cells coming up. My paints I did mix last night all but the gold. At the last minute I decided to put that uh, gold in. Just felt I needed a little something extra here. So let's start with the tilting. And I've probably mentioned so far I'm very happy with the mix. The colors seem to stay very, very vibrant after it dries. And I will be having um, a video coming up with some dried results. I'm going to go over that corner there and come back. And I'll try for this far corner down here. And bring that back. Again, I have plenty of paint for this uh, canvas here today. And now I'm going to try this corner down here. And now I'm going to bring my painting back a little bit, my paints back. Okay, now I'm going to just take a look at it a minute. I have that one corner, yep, left to uh, cover here. Okay, let's work on this corner here. And hopefully you're seeing all of this happening. I think I do have just the right amount of paint for my canvas here. And I'm going to bring that back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at this now for composition. Um, I can tell you the parts I do like. This is very pretty in here. You can see those blue stripes and the yellow coming through. Very pretty. I'm not so crazy about this area right here. So I think I am going to do a little bit of tilting on that. Just see if I can tilt some of that off. I know that's the gold, but I just really would like to get a little bit of that off there. And then bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take another look. Let's 
checking my corners here. I'm still not crazy about that. So what I think I'm going to do is just run my skewer through this area just a little bit to break it up. if I like it a little better that way. Okay, that's a little better. Now I'm going to uh, clean off the bottom here. And then I'll give it a torch. Again, this was an open cup pour on a 12 by 16. And let's give it a torch here. Okay, and composition wise, I always like to show you composition wise the way it would go, and I believe it would go like this. Just fixing up a corner here. And now I think I'll get you down for a close up, and I'll tell you the areas I like. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up and I just wanted to let you know off camera I did a little bit more tilting and I did tilt most of that gold off in the corner I just am much more happier with it looking like this now this is the upper left hand corner and we'll go down the left hand side here I did get a few cells hopefully you can see the shininess of this paint and the mix, it, it's just wonderful for um, layers. You can just see layers and layers of colors here. Just beautiful. This is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle now. Pretty in here. Very, a lot going on in here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about layers there. You have the muted greens and blues, and then you have that blue stripe coming up like that. Just very, very nice. And this is the uh, upper right-hand corner here. And I'll show you the area that I think is really, really pretty. It's right in here. Very nice in there. That yellow coming through, so pretty. I wanted to really enhance that area because that does catch the eye there. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. And I would check it if you, if I were you, um, if you are subscribed. Um, because I've heard that there are some uh, YouTube subscribers that haven't been getting notices of new videos so check your um check your bell and make sure that you are um, on all so you'll know when i do post a new video and subscribe if you haven't that would really help me out thank you for watching everybody and until next time take care bye for now